Hello there and welcome. This tool is Marvel GSM Tool 3 and the tool is so good in such a way that I decided to share the tool with you guys out there. For those who want free tools to unlock, this tool is the best choice. So I'm trying my best to give you a lot of free tools so that in case when you are unlocking a device then you use this this tool to unlock and it doesn't work you will still have a couple of tools to try and unlock you understand so with this tool I will show you how to use every option that you see right here and then I will show you how you can download this tool and install the tool properly on your PC so make sure you follow my installation steps because uh, I keep getting messages from some people saying the tools are not working a particular tool is not working meanwhile a lot of people are saying that it's working that's because they just skip the video without watching the, the, the installation steps okay so I will start by explaining everything about this tool then to download the tool is not a big deal and I'm going to show you all that at the end of the video so make sure you follow my steps especially if you are still getting into software well okay so when you open this store right here you can see see that we have this uh, option right here which is adb then we have this com port right here so if you want to join my mobile repairing course which will be about hardware and software make sure that you send me a message using the number on the screen right here so in my course you will learn how to troubleshoot any mobile phone fault starting from the basics of troubleshooting to the advanced level of troubleshooting so make sure you send me a message and i will send you more information about the course so with the course you will study everything in two months and once you study everything you are going to get a certificate when you complete the course so the course will really be helpful if you really want to learn more so let's continue so this adb option right here are for devices that have adb debugging enabled in that phone and if your device doesn't have adb debugging enabled then this you, you your device won't be able to show up in this store like mine right here so mine is able to show here and if i rescan right here it will still detect because i have debugging mode enabled in my phone so with this com port right here this com port is for uh, for flashing like edl mode flash mode in mtk devices and qualcomm you understand so if you want to to unlock your phone which you are not doing the unlocking mtp mode adb mode or, or, or adb mode then you have to use this option so this option is like okay you were trying to unlock a phone then you need to press hold the volume up and the volume down when the phone is off then connect your usb cable so when you do this this way then that's when the phone will show up in this com port and if you connect it and it doesn't show up, you just refresh right here and it will show the port. So right here, mine is in ADB mode, as you can see right there. So coming down, the first option that you will see right here is ADB option. So in this ADB option right here, you will have a couple of options right here that you can deal with in case the phone have ADB mode enabled. So right now that my phone have ADB mode enabled, I can do all these things that you are seeing right here. You understand? So starting with the read information. So if I want to read the information of my phone, I'm just going to click on read information right here. So the phone will connect to my phone in ADB mode. As you can see, it will read the complete information right here. If I want to check root on my device, I'm going to click on check root right there. As you can see, and the tool will take some time to do its work. You understand? So as you can see, root state, not root. My device isn't rooted. And if I want to check the, the storage information, I'm just going to click on storage right there and it will read my phone information as well as you can see right here this is my storage information it shows the the, the app data size shows the app cache size and the photo size video all the stuff it shows everything about storage on my device which you can see that the tool is very interesting so when it comes to unlocking the tool is such a big deal you understand so if i want to factory reset my phone right now this is my personal phone if i want to factory reset my phone right now all i have to do right here i'm just going to click on factory reset so if i click on the factory reset option it's going to 
wipe off every data in my phone including all the photos the videos and apps then it will reset my phone to factory settings you understand <coughs> okay so coming next you, we will see that we have reset frp old and the next one is reset frp new so these are two different versions of frp reset integrated in the store which means that if you are trying if i'm trying to unlock frp on my device right here in adb mode keep in mind that we are working on adb mode we are still working on adb mode if i'm trying to reset frp on this device right now then i click on reset frp old right here and it doesn't work then i'm going to try the new method right here so if you use this method and it works then everything is good if you use this and it doesn't work then try the new method you understand and you can see right here we have a uh, backup options right here i don't think anyone is using this backup options which is very easy you can do backup and restore and you can install some stuff right here okay so right here we have bypass lock and reset lock so these two options right here mostly work for all that devices especially this bypass option right here this bypass lock right here is to bypass screen lock without resetting the phone so if you have a phone like a pattern or a pin that you are trying to accept access it then using this option right here once you just click on right here and while the phone is connected it will just automatically bypass the lock without resetting anything inside that phone and to reset right here when you click on it it's going to reset the phone like it will do a soft reset you understand and right here you can install gspace all this stuff right here you can back up whatsapp restore whatsapp and you can disable mi cloud right there okay so coming down to more operations right here you can see that these options this option right here if your phone is connected in adb mode like mine right here and you want to reboot it to any other mode you can use this option right here so my phone is connected to normal mode which adb is enabled so if i want to boot my phone to recovery mode all i'm going to do i'm going to click on recovery and i will click on reboot right here and it will just automatically re reboot my phone to recovery mode instantly if i want to boot to download mode fast boot mode bootloader edl or power of my phone i'm just going to click on that once i do that i'm going to click on reboot right here and it will do exactly what i want so right here is to run apps so for example these options are used this option right here is used when you are trying to bypass something like a frp so if i want to uh, force run an app on my phone using adb mode what i'm going to do I'm just going to come to this option select settings if i want to to uh, launch the setting app i click on settings if i want to, to launch developer mode option in settings or chrome launch galaxy store play store blah 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 i'm just going to select any of these once i select it click on run right here it will automatically open that app in my phone you understand and from there if i want to bypass i open chrome from there i can be able to download my bypass apks okay so right down here you can see that you can insert a link right here and the tool will automatically force your phone to open that link you understand so for example if i'm trying to bypass and i want to open any website what i'm going to do just going to copy that website then come paste it here so once i paste it here i click on open right here and the tool will force your phone to open that website and right here you can change language in adb mode as well which is very simple then we have these other options right here you can see these other options right here which has uh, which are not mainly used most of the time okay so if you come right here to adb extra you can see that you can run commands in this adb mode right here you can uh, execute a command in your phone so this is a high professional level for those who study command prompts and all that stuff you understand so you have uh, blah, blah 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 all these options <coughs> okay so once you 
So we are done with this main ADB section right here and now we are moving to fast boot. So fast boot is the second thing that we will be talking about right here and in fast boot you can read information as well. You can read advanced information if your phone is connected to fast boot. You understand? So if your phone is connected to fast boot it will read in the same ADB option here as well. You understand so once you have your phone connected in fastboot and fastboot drivers installed then you can easily do this performance right here you can read information read advanced information to so that the tool will get more information from your phone than how it can get in this read information option right here so you can do factory reset as well you can reboot to edl exist fast fastboot reboot to do right here reboot to recovery you can unlock bootloader yeah bootloader is always easy to unlock through fast boot mode and you can relock bootloader as well and when it comes to frp we have more than two frp methods right here which is more than that of the adb which means that if you try to unlock frp in this method one it doesn't work you try method two and if it doesn't work then you are going to try method three and hopefully any of these methods hopefully one of these methods will work and for you to erase data this is like a factory option the factory will set your phone erase data and unlock passwords you can use this option right here when your phone is connected to fast boot and you can uh, erase cache right here you can erase system like erase the system partition erase recovery partition then full erase the complete partitions of your device and you can bypass lenovo frp so if you are the phone that you are connected to fast boot is lenovo then use this option right here if it's uh, xiaomi use this option if it's micro max use this option if it's motorola then use this option right here do you understand and if you have a bootloader unlock file that you have downloaded, if you have a fast boot unlock file that you have downloaded, you can load the file right here and click on flash right here to unlock your device. You understand? So right here, as you can see, you can write IMEI using this fast boot option right here. You can uh, write while we code FRP. There are some uh, programming codes. I don't know if it's a programming code, if it's called a programming code or something, but you can type that code right here to bypass FRP on certain Huawei phones or to write IMEI in Fastboot. We are just going to type in the IMEI right here, click on write right there. You understand? So we have another option under the Fastboot option right here, which is Fastboot Flasher. So right here, you can flash a phone in in fast boot so that's when you have select the partial flash right here you select partial flash right here you select the firmware from there you can easily flash any of this partition but if you want to flash completely all the partitions at, uh, at once then you are going to come right here and select the, the, the file that you have downloaded click here select the file that you have downloaded and click on flash right here and everything will be good to go okay so let's move to mtp mode right here okay so this mtp mode right here is really nice because you don't have to install uh, you don't have to enable abb you don't have to boot to fast boot to do anything your phone needs to be on in normal mode that's why we call mtp mode so if you want to uh, perform frp unlock on any of these devices right here you can do that in mtp mode for example my phone that i connected it right here is google pixel right here so if i want to bypass frp in this google pixel i'm just going to select my google pixel if it's a qualcomm device then i'm going to select qualcomm motorola lg i'm going to do that if it's infinix i'm going to do that so what you're going to do you're just going to select your device brand or your cpu brand like a qualcomm right here once you select it if you want to launch a custom url like to open a website then just paste the website right here so once you paste the website right here click on start bypass frp so once you click on it, meanwhile your phone is on, maybe stuck in the FRP screen. Once you click on it right here, you will have this little uh, 
screen right here popped up in the screen of your phone so when this pop up in the screen of your phone just click on view right here and you will go directly to the website but if you want to open any of these like youtube google maps marvel frp or any of these right here just select it and to select it then just click on start right here and it will prompt you to to click on the same screen right here you understand so once you click on it it will take you to that side and from there you can follow anyhow that you wanted to unlock maybe download some stuff and be able to unlock because unlocking frp in most phones you just need to have access to the web browser or to an app especially when you are following youtube tutorials to bypass using your hand so this tool will help you with that so when it comes to uh, mtk devices so when it comes to mtk devices you can see that right here we have a couple of options right here so in this option you can see that we have a lot of mtk cpus right here that you can bypass so this shows that any of these cpus that you see here any phone mtk phone that uses any of this cpu you can easily bypass using this tool sorry so if i want to bypass uh, 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 mtk I want to bypass MTK FRP, maybe Infinix, Oppo, Huawei that uses an MTK CPU. Once I just know the, the particular CPU that it uses, or if you don't know, you can just go online, search the model of that phone that you want to bypass, then search the CPU type. They will show you the exact CPU that the phone is using. So if it's using this the CPU, like this one, for example, right here, all you have to do is to click on the CPU, then start bypass boot rom in boot rom mode which is flashing mode so when you are clicking on right here you need to make sure that you have switched off your phone then press and hold the volume up and volume down at the same time then once you have that once you have that you have your phone off just click on start bypass boot rom right here then press and hold the volume up and the volume down then plug in your usb cable let me click on this right here so that you will see what i'm talking about so as you can see it doesn't detect anything right here so which means that when you want to bypass any of the phones right here what you are going to do you are going to press and hold the volume up and the volume down when the phone is off then once you press and hold that connect your usb cable as soon as you connect your usb cable make sure that you click on right here start bypass right here once you click on it it will detect the phone right here and start the bypass process so always make sure to check the cpu so that you can come right here and select the cpu directly you understand so in this mtk address option you can load frp address files like the, the files to bypass frp which are very small files and these particular files are very hard to get so we are not going to talk much about this section it's quite easy in, in case you have the file so let's come to the flashing option right here so with this flashing option you can flash mtk scattered files in this option remember that we are working on the mtk cpus right here so what you have to do you just have to go right here select the scattered file that you have downloaded which is the firmware that you have downloaded you understand so once you select it it will load everything right here and you can be able to click on start right here and download so with the flash mode you can either select if you only want to upgrade you want to download only or if you want to format everything in the phone then download so once you select any of these then click on start and everything will be good to go so we have mtk main beta right there so in these options you, you can do a lot of things you can read gpt information you can reset frp you can reset frp of samsung mtk devices you can reset frp of huawei mtk devices you can do same bypass me account and frp you can format user data you can dump the boot rom you can dump all partitions and you can unlock and relock boot loader so we have a lot of options right here that you can give it a try so again it shows you all the cpu types that are that are the cpu models that are uh, allowed right here you can see that we have a lot of models and uh, even newer models here as well so the tool is not bad at all so once we are done with that we head on to the qualcomm option right here then this qualcomm option is quite easy right here if you want to load your 
your file right here load your, your flash file yeah you can load it right here load your file in case you want to flash the phone you can load it right there so once you load the file it's going to highlight this write option right here for you to write everything if you want to dump or erase you can do that okay so for that if you want to full, full flash everything once you select everything right there <laughs> okay so let's head on to the powercom option right here so the powercom option is not that complicated right here so when you come to the powercom option you have the brand right here which means that you can select if the device that you want we are working on uses a Qualcomm CPU and if it's a Xiaomi or Huawei you are going to select the model right here so once you select the brand which is Xiaomi you are going to come right here and you will see a lot of models for the Xiaomi phones right here so you just have to select you see that it has a lot of models and right here you can load this uh, host file file right here so once you load everything and you want to do a full flash you going to click on right here you want to uh, save flash you are going to click on this so this whole flash flash everything all the partitions and the save files keep some partitions that know that these partitions might uh, cause problems after flashing you understand so if you want to format user data you can easily do that right here as well so as it's qualcomm right here the phone needs to be in edl mode you understand and you can reboot to edl using fastboot mode or adb or any method that you know how to get into edl mode so you can uh, format user data you can bypass frp and make sure that when you are working make sure you select the brand make sure you select the brand then select the model as well you understand so once you do that you can do all this stuff right here you can back up efs reset efs you can restore efs you can bypass me account old, disable me account, all the stuff right here. Okay, so this option, I haven't used this option before. So it's to select a system image file to disable me account right here. So if you want to disable me account and you have the disable file, or you have a system image file that you can load right here to disable, then you can load it right there so we have this test point option right here which is very important so with this test point option this option helps you show you the test point of particular devices so if i want to know the test point of maybe let me just say huawei i'm going to select the brand then i'm going to select the model right here select any Huawei model meanwhile i'm going to click on show test point right here you understand so once you click on it then it will show you the test point so let me go to any other one right here to any other model I click on show test point it's going to show you the test point same goes to any other model that you see right here when you do that it's going to show you the test point on the pcb so you can see that the tool is very important so if you want to unlock you want to unlock this particular device on the tool which repairs test point then you can easily use this test point to connect the phone so that the tool can detect so right now i'm going to show you how you can use this tool i'm going to show you how you can download the tool so make sure you follow my steps to download and install the tool on your pc okay so for you to download the tool just go to this video description and you will see a direct link to download the tool so once you download the tool as you can see i've already opened mine the tool is in winrar format so just download winrar and you'll be able to open the file that you just downloaded so once you download the tool just go to the folder in which you downloaded the tool and open it and you will have this particular screen right here so follow my installation steps so that you'll be able to get this tool running and working on your pc because a lot of guys always because i always get some messages from a few guys saying that the tool is not working meanwhile they do not even follow how i install them you understand meanwhile those who follow they are really enjoying the tool so for you to install the tool just double click on it and give it some time to open a few seconds okay so you can see right here I'm just going to close this screen right here
so once you open it click on right here accept the blah 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 click on next so you can see everything looks good right here so you can take your time to read this but i'm not going to do that right now and you're going to click on next so right here you can either select the directory maybe you have a, a particular drive that you install on your pc to be installed in your software scene but for me i'm going to use the default drive c so i'm not going to change anything there but if you want to change anything there for example just click on any of these drives and click on ok so once you do that click on next right here and make sure you select this to enable desktop icon to create the desktop icon for the tool if not you will install the tool and won't be able to find where to open the tool so we're going to click on that right there and click on next then click on install right here so and give it a little time to install so i'm just going to post okay we are almost done okay great as you can see everything is okay right now and what i want you to do from here you are going to deselect this one right here deselect this one then leave these ones the way they are and click on finish right here so when you open the tool just give it some time to open because it's going to load everything it's going to load and gather everything so that it can work properly you can see the countdown right here we are almost done okay great just cancel this cancel this as well and here we go so you can see that our tool is here up and running so from here you'll be able to to do your work install everything uh, bypass frp in different modes right here different cpus as you can see everything is good right here make sure you like this video subscribe to my channel for more amazing videos because i'm going to upload more videos on free tools for you to use and unlock your devices so thank you and see you soon make sure that you click on these two videos right here and download these other unlock tools as well so it's good to have a couple of them so that when you're trying to unlock a device and this tool doesn't unlock it then you'll be able to try another tool that's why i'm giving a lot of tools right here for you to be able to download them so thank you and see you soon